So just now we were sturgeon fishing, which is stationary because they're bottom feeders, so you have to stay put. Now we're starting to trawl along the Willamette here towards the mouth of the river where the salmon, the springers, are trying to get upstream. All right, so Andrew, so this is a little bit different. We're trolling now. Right. We've got all the lines out. They've got a uh, plug cut herring on it, so it's bound their spin and it looks like a, a wounded fish. Yeah, I saw that. You got a spinner? Yeah, it's got a flasher on there. It acts as an attractant. And a bait, bu and then behind, a bait it. behind it. Yep. So they see that flasher, it kind of attracts them over. They think it's another fish, and then they find that herring, and then they come up from behind but it. But they're not hungry right now, right? They're no, but they're still full of food. No, they're still feeding. They pretty much when they hit and get into fresh water, they'll shut down what they their body needs, doesn't need to eat. But you gotta remember these fish have been out in the ocean for three or four years, and all they do is eat. All day long, every day they eat. So it's their instinct to eat. There's both native and hatchery fish in the river. So if we get a native, which you'll know because they'll have a little adipose fin clip, and I'll show that to you. Uh, we'll have to turn him back because he's a native fish. If they're hatchery, they've been clipped in the hatchery, and we'll know that and we'll be able to keep that fish. So why not keep the native? Well, the native fish, they're protected. Okay, so the native Chinook salmon, uh, it's on an endangered species uh, list, so you can't retain them. They have to go back unharmed. Uh, and certainly that's one of the advantages of us sports fishermen. We can release these fish unharmed. Go ahead and come back here right next to me, Andrew. Sure. You're good. You're doing great. You're doing just fine. He's not done yet. Just keep him coming. He's not done yet. Nice and easy now. Don't get his head out of the water. Keep coming. Keep coming. Don't give him any slack like that. Let him go. Put the rod tip down a little bit. It's a big fish. That's a big fish, Andrew. It's a big fish? It's a big fish. Perfect. Nice. Right there. Don't reel anymore. <laughs> let him go. Just let him go. Jeez. Yep. Perfect. Now, Brad. What experience. That's a <laughs> God, it's a whole different ball game from sturgeon, isn't it? Yeah. Holy moly. Jeepers, that's heavy. Yeah, he's heavy. So just like I said, it's easy. It's a nice, easy pull, not a hard, strong pull, okay? Keep, just keep working him up. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep working him up. Keep him coming. Just pull it. Yep. Just let him pull. There he comes. All right. Go ahead. Nice and slow lift. Away from the boat. Rod down. Just let him go. <laughs> Holy moly. Down. <laughs> Don't down. Down. Put the rod down low. Down low. <laughs> no. I didn't. There it is. Holy mackerel. Head, rod, rod tip down. Oh, that's huge. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get him in the boat. You know what? Want me to tell you now? That's a hatchery fish. We get to keep it. We get to keep it. Yes. If you land him. We gotta land him before you can keep him. Reel down, just like that. Reel down, slowly lift up, reel down. Here we go. Keep him away from the motor. Okay. Easy, don't pull too hard, remember? There you go, reel down. Got him! Got him! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that! Holy mackerel, it's enormous! I can't tell you how excited I am right now! You know when you give a three-year-old a lollipop and they go nuts? It's kind of what I'm like right now. Yeah. Oh, so we, that's good eat, that's, we can keep it? We're, yep, we wouldn't put him in the boat if we couldn't. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth, perfect. That, you just made my day.
this <laughs> is a beautiful Look expansion of fish. Well, I have it river. Now, <clears throat> like right here on the, right here, see that little bump is? Yeah. That's where his adipose fin used to be. So in the hatchery, when they're little, they clip that off. So that's how you know it's a hatchery fish. If he had a little fin right there, that'd be a native, we'd have to put him back. <sighs> I am so excited. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.